Hi guys, it's Reagan and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be chatting through possibly a mildly controversial video, but more or less today I'm going to be speaking on the book series I just don't see myself finishing. Obviously, I have a lot of books, um, and as much as I try to read everything that possibly interests me, just the name of the game is sometimes you just can't get to it all. So there have been quite a few series I have started, and honestly I just don't see myself finishing any time in the future, if at all. But without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about the 11 series I just don't see myself finishing. The first series is the City of Ghosts series by Victoria Schwab. This might come as a surprise, not only because Victoria Schwab is an incredibly popular author, but is actually one of my favorite authors. I've read so many of her books and series, and generally speaking, I really enjoy her writing and her worlds, but the City of Ghosts series, while as like a really great concept, is about a girl kind of solving crimes and ghost mysteries in Edinburgh, Scotland. It has some good atmosphere and overall I sort of enjoyed it but I wouldn't say it was a story that blew me away so in general I have unhauled the first one and I just don't see myself picking up later books in that series. I will say it had a lot of promise it just wasn't my personal Victoria Schwab fave if you know what I mean so that is the first series I don't see myself finishing at all but one that kind of haunts me and I'm not just saying that because it has ghosts because it's more or less that I really 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 wanted to love it but it just didn't work out. Next up is another very popular YA series and that is Renegades by Marissa Mayer. Again I read the first book to this trilogy and in general I just found the book to be okay. It had some great elements that I appreciated from the characters as well as the superpowers and the sci-fi setting. In general I enjoyed pieces of it but I wouldn't say the story kind of captured my attention or blew me away enough to commit myself to two more books in that series. This is another hard one. I just feel like generally it's very beloved, but when I read it, I just thought it was okay. I appreciated the world, but I just wanted more from the writing and the world building in general. This is another series that might be a bit of a surprise that I'm not going to continue. The next one I feel like might give me the most comments to try to convince me otherwise, and that is the Kings of the Wild series. I think the actual series is called The Band by Nicholas Imes. This is a beloved, incredibly popular high fantasy story that on paper I feel like could have been an all-time favorite for me. This is a very fun fantasy story, very much in my opinion inspired by things like Dungeons and Dragons. It has a very classic and playful quest structure to it. It basically follows a group of retired mercenaries kind of getting the band back together to go on one final quest in attempts to save our main character's daughter. In a lot of ways this book is really fun and definitely delivers on its premise but the reviews for this like if you look at the Goodreads average rating it is like beloved and for me it just didn't strike the same amount of like obsession that I feel like everyone else has has when it comes to the series. I liked it. I didn't love it. While I found the story to be playful and I appreciated the overall idea, I just didn't really connect to the characters and I found the story itself to be plotted a little predictably. I've heard so many great things about the sequel and everyone says it gets even better in book two, but I just don't know if this series is for me. I got rid of the first one and just when I think about reading the second one, it just doesn't spark any joy within me, so I just feel like this is one that I am going to say I'm just not going to continue with. There are so many fantasy series out in the world that are on my TBR that I love, that I want to read, that I just don't feel like I have the energy to kind of keep holding on to the band. Um, and I've recently read some like other quest structured fantasy stories that I've enjoyed much more, so I just feel like it just might not have been for me. But if it sounds like it might be interesting to you, this is one I would recommend checking out because again, it is very beloved and it might just be a me problem, you know? Next up, I have two angsty YA series that I feel like it's just time to let go. The first one is a newer, very popular series called Serpent and Dove. I just feel like while it definitely had some fun tropes and the romance was engaging, overall I found the actual fantasy component of this should just not be fleshed out enough for me to want to continue on with the series and for me to enjoy it as a fantasy story. I completely understand why this is particularly very popular. It has that sort of marriage of convenience, spouses that hate each other, which is generally one of my favorite tropes in romance novels when I read historical romance. But I would just say like this had fun elements, but there was also a lot of parts that needed to be developed more for me to consider it 
like a fantasy story which was also trying to be as it did have like a witch magic part of the book too which was just like not really part of the series very much at all and then the other one is a true classic i have started and stopped so many times and i just don't really see myself trying to start again and that is the white hot kiss series by jennifer l armentrout this was a lot of fun i think i read the first two books but i forgot everything so i thought maybe i'd reread it so i can finish it but i just don't really see that happening i do still plan to continue on with the newer spin-off series which i read the first book to and honestly it was an incredibly entertaining like paranormal fantasy time i definitely feel like i'm going to continue on with that offshoot series once i feel like reading that genre again every once in a while i'm like i need some paranormal romance romance now and I feel like that's a great one to have on my shelf but the White Hot Kiss series I just feel like I'm never gonna finish it <laughs> and there's always gonna be newer or other paranormal romances that are gonna call out to me so it's just time to let it go you know just be free of the expectation to finish it I'm just it's just not gonna happen. Next on my list is the Never Night series by Jay Kristoff. This is another one I've given multiple tries to. I think I've read the first one twice and generally I enjoyed it but I kind of feel like the first one was kind of a one-trick pony. I feel like the world and the overall setup of this young girl who's like a dark assassin who's going to this assassin school and it's very dark and gruesome and there's all these footnotes. It's a really intriguing setup for me when I read the first one but I feel like I kind of got lost in the sauce of the story and I just feel like for me I had a hard time kind of continuing to connect with the story after the first one. I reread the first one multiple times now and trying to kind of start this series off and I always just got stuck in the second one. I just found the pacing to be off, the writing to be a bit slow, with all the footnotes and the story to kind of backtrack on itself a bit. With that in mind, I just don't feel like this series is particularly for me. I also find some of the substance of the story to be more bothersome, um, like the more I've sat with it personally as a reader too. So given that, I've just decided I'm just not gonna give this series any more tries, though honestly I've given it a lot of tries. Like this is the one I've probably tried to read the most out of all of these. The next two books I'm not gonna continue on because honestly I just think they're kind of objectively bad. <laughs> Maybe that's a strong statement. Again, and this is one of my more controversial videos, but I'm kind of spilling all of my opinions, but I'm not continuing on with these series, obviously, for one reason or another, and generally it's because they just no longer fit with my personal taste. Obviously, if you love and enjoy these books, more power to you. I'm glad they bring you some joy. One of them is the Modern Fairy Tale series by Holly Black. I think the first one is called Tithe. Now, keep in mind, I actually really enjoy Holly Black's writing. I've read some of her more recent fae stories. Fae, as kind of a trope and like magical creature setting, is always one of my favorites. I think they tend to have really beautiful settings. I enjoy the ambiance of like the fey world. It tends to be very dramatic and full of backstabbing. Just generally as a setup, I really, really like it. So in reading some of her more recent stories, I thought, hey, let's go back. Let's read some of her classics, you know? So I picked up Tithe. And honestly, I don't even think I was able to finish it. I think I got about halfway through and I DNF'd and I have no plans to continuing. Honestly, it's just the perfect example of a product of its time. I wanna say it was written in 2006 and it was like classic 2006, like female heroine, like where you'd be hanging out after school. Like it was just so, it was just too much for me. <laughs> it was too much. I didn't wanna read about like teenage angst and rebellion and like running away and like abandoned amusement parks and following really problematic boys into places that you shouldn't, you know, like, there was a time and place for that. If I read that in middle school and high school when it came out, I probably would have loved it. But just for me now, it just wasn't up my alley anymore. But we'll definitely be reading more of the newer books Holly Black comes out with. I think she has a new book coming out maybe this year or early next year. Um, because I love Faye's stories and she does have a fantastic writing style. But the Modern Fairy Tale series was just... It's too late for me. <laughs> Next up is Wicked Saints, which is part of the Something Dark and Holy series, I want to say. I'm going to keep this one brief. I really didn't like it from pretty much every single angle, from the writing to the story, the plotting, the characters, just everything for me was generally a miss. I just didn't like it from a YA fantasy perspective, but also there's quite a few elements that are very problematic about the story as well. So even if I did like it, I don't think I would continue on at all, but honestly, it's like, not good on all fronts, generally speaking. <laughs> Next up is a bit of a surprising one, and that is the fourth 
book or like the Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J Maas. I've read the entirety of the original trilogy and for the most part I find Sarah J Maas's writing to be very entertaining. I like her series. I've completed Throne of Glass. I've read like every other book she's come out with but once she continued on with the Courts of Thorns and Roses I just honestly it just didn't speak to me. It's really long. It's following a character I didn't care about too much. I think it follows Nesta. I've heard mixed things about it and I'm just not particularly like in the mood to go back into that world. Like I just felt like with the trilogy like it was done you know why do we need to reopen that you know what I mean so you know maybe I'll change my mind in like 15 20 years but for the most part I feel pretty strongly that I'm just not gonna read this newer release for me um, and I'm just not gonna continue on with the extra books within this series I'm just gonna keep it to the original trilogy but hey maybe one day I'll get really bored and I'll crave some fey romance from Sarah J Maas she tends to get me um, but for now I'm just gonna look forward to her newer releases and her newer series which I am also enjoying but I just I just don't I just don't see myself finishing it so I put it on this list yell at me maybe I should read it I'm not sure but uh, I, I just I just don't think I'm gonna read it and the next one still pains me a bit to talk about because I wanted to love it so bad and that is the Serafina series by Rachel Hartman this is a classic like medieval YA fantasy story this setup is about a young girl who is a very talented musician and she lives in a world where kind of there's a lot of tension between humans and dragons and she herself is hiding a big secret that cannot be revealed and she basically also gets involved in an investigation with the head of the guard and the prince in town naturally again so many aspects of this book I just feel like I wanted to love and were like set up for me to love but generally speaking the story just didn't fully land for me it just was okay for me it was by no means bad and in general I would say if the synopsis sounds interesting to you you might love it because many people do and I wish I was one of them um, this is only a duology as well so me saying I'm not gonna continue on isn't like I guess huge stakes but it's really like the next book is so long and it took me so long to read Serafina it put me in a bit of a reading slump that I just don't think I'm gonna continue on and I just wish I loved it but I just don't I just want to be part of this fandom so bad because I feel like I'm supposed to be but it just didn't work out for me unfortunately and then the very last book is by Jim Butcher and it's not the Dresden Files though I was pretty close to putting that on this list I have tried to read the Dresden Files so many times because that series is either okay for me or Harry Dresden makes you want to scream and rip out my brain because his uh, gaze is so hard to read from but Harry Dresden aside, I'm actually going to be talking about the Aronauts Windlass, which is another series by Jim Butcher. I've actually read so many books by Jim Butcher. I read the Codex Solera a long time ago, and it's just one of my favorite fantasy series at the time. I do feel like I need to reread it to see where it stands now, but I was obviously really excited when he came out with a new fantasy series, The Wind Lasts Are Not, but unfortunately for me I just found it to be okay. Um, it had elements that I thought were pretty interesting, but overall from a plotting and a story perspective, I just wasn't blown away, which is a little ironic because I think it's about ships in the sky. It came out so long ago too, and I don't even know when we're gonna get a second book within that series anyway. Like. Who knows? I'm saying I'm not gonna finish it, but like, is it even going to be finished? TBD. Funny with Jim Butcher because I do feel like his writing for me can be so hit or miss. Um, and I've just read so many of his books, like over 10 at this point. But yes, I just don't think I'm gonna continue on with the Windlass or not unless the second one gets absolutely stellar reviews. So, you know, I'm a little weak in that way. And for now, Harry Dresden is still a possibility for me to continue on. But we'll see. We'll see. It's just so hard. I've already read four books and I just don't like Harry Dresden. Alrighty guys, those are 11 series I just don't plan on finishing. Again, this is just my own personal feelings on some series I don't plan to finish. Do not hate me too much in the comments. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon with another one soon. Goodbye!